The latest is, is that Gordon is a little bit stronger, not a hurricane, but pretty close with the winds now at 70 miles an hour. At 75, it would be a hurricane, so it's got a little opportunity left as it uh, has about six hours or so over the water. 95 miles southeast of Biloxi there and will be northwest at 15. So if you do the math, that is about six hours and it should maintain that speed to the northwest. It's a rather small storm. Once it makes landfall later on this evening and overnight, then it begins to weaken quickly down to a tropical depression during the day on Wednesday. Wednesday and then by Thursday, Friday, it's going to be a big rainmaker in part of the country that does not need the rain up into the Mississippi Valley region. Here's the radar, and as you can see, it's not your classic looking tropical storm. It's one of these lopsided ones because there's southwesterly wind shear blowing on it. And you can kind of make out the overall circulation there, and as it moves to the northwest, will impact the Mississippi, Alabama, and also the Florida panhandles right there, the coastal areas. There are some thunderstorms extending out to the east of it and into the western part of Florida and for us, we're just basically in that nice easterly flow once again, a breeze off the ocean and a few showers here or there. Our forecast is looking pretty good. A detailed look at that coming up. Craig, thank you. You can track Tropical Storm Gordon and Hurricane Florence out in the Atlantic at any time. Just head to the tropics section of CBSMiami.com.